Yo, well, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to another car build and tune in episode. Last episode, we tuned this a Ford RS200 to drift. Uh, we switched it to a rear wheel drive, obviously, and it was a surprisingly beast car, you know, with rear engine, well, mid engine, rear engine, kind of, you know what I mean. Um, it was surprisingly stable, surprisingly nice, and it was snappy transitions, which was a good thing about it. Um, so, going on to the next car. Um, what I'm going to do, I was gonna, I'm going to close my eyes, that's how I'm doing it now. Um, I just quite literally close my eyes, wherever I land on, I've got to tune it. That's why I've been coming out with different cars that I might not have tuned otherwise. So, I think I'm going to go left towards the A kind of mark. Um, so, I'm just going to just gonna cover my eyes, close my eyes. Um, I'll look at you just so you can kind of see, you know. Um, so, yeah, we're scrolling. I kind of want this to go a little bit more. And I'm going to stop now. Okay. Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> I'm not getting any cars that are kind of like normal. <laughs> I'm getting absolute monsters. Look at this thing, a Bowler EXR S. Okay, so we got to tune this to drift. Uh, <laughs> you know, I kind of want it to land on a normal car. <laughs> but it's just not happening. It's not happening to me. So, 176 followers. What? 176,000... <laughs> credits that cost uh, which is a little bit over the top you know for a car that I don't really want you know well, well, we can accept it right <laughs> um, so let's leave um, leave the auto show right there and yeah we got to switch this to rear wheel drive it is all wheel drive at the moment and I think every car in this game is possible to switch to rear wheel drive so in terms of um, just random cars it's turned out pretty good because you can quite literally just swap any car which is Six. So there we go. Rear wheel drive swap right there. <laughs> what am I doing? Like generally, this is the worst idea to do this random, you know? Because some of the cars that come out are just ridiculous. <laughs> oh, okay, so n I'm not going to use the rear wing. I'm not going to use the front bumper either. Uh, tire compound. We're going to go with a sport tire compound right now. Nicey, nicey. Um, what's the weight in this thing anyway? One thousand six hundred kilo. I'll go. Very big tire pressures already, so 305 um, width on the front. Let's go through two fives in the rear. Unfortunately, we do have a lot of tire width already, um, which is pretty unfortunate, kind of, you know. Uh, what kind of rim suit this car? BBS? No, they really don't suit. <laughs> what suits cars like this? I generally don't know. Um, something like that? Oh, my analog stick actually works for once. That's crazy. Let's go for those. Let's go for them. Just jump in and buy them. Don't even think about it. Just jump in and buy them, right? Best way to do it. Um, so, rim size, I don't think you can change. No, for some reason you can't change the rim size, which is uh, pretty strange, but we'll just deal with it, right? Uh, we want to put the race clutch on. We want to get those gear changes slick, you know? Um, transmission, we want race transmission. Get those gears pinging off, you know. Uh, drive line. Let's chuck that in as well, and we want to raise the race differential right there. Okay. So that is all of the drivetrain upgrades onto platform and handling now. Uh, race brakes. Why not? They look sick on this car. Uh, pretty on display as well, which is pretty crazy. Uh, Storm Island upgrade. We're gonna jump ahead and put that on uh, for the off-road suspension. Uh, race anti roll bars right there. Um, race anti roll bar roll bars on the rear as well. Uh, but yeah, the reason for doing off road suspension, basically, what the hell? It like drops to the floor and it goes back up. Like what? What? Why are you doing this? Okay, one thousand four hundred kilos. That goes down to pretty nice. Um, the weight dis distribution is not very good right now. Um, 49% on the front, so it's going to be a little bit rear heavy, but oh well. Oh well. We just had a rear engine car, bro. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I generally don't know what I'm going on about. I was talking about off, um, off road suspension. I just turned on to that. Like, I don't, I don't even know what I talk about sometimes. I generally don't know. Uh, so let's chuck on some camshafts in here as well. Uh, 650 horsepower. <sighs> See what the supercharger takes us to. 748. Let's just do the, the the sport. Was it sport? Yeah, sport supercharger right there. 
Uh, intercooler we could chuck in as well. 736 horsepower. I know that's normally over the top for what I normally build, but this car, it's an off-road car. It is a Jeep. We need the weight. Um, the weight is 1,400 kilos. We're going to need the power to kind of counteract the weight. So yeah, back onto the, the, the first point. Yeah, the first point. Off-road suspension, right? It gives you more steering angles. So that was what I was trying to get out before I got rudely interrupted by myself. Um, so yeah, this is pretty soft to start off with. And yeah, sorry about that squeak. My brake pedal is starting to squeak, you know. <laughs> need to get some... WD-40 down there, um, but anyway, onto the tune, um, first off, um, the gear in felt very, very long, just put on away right there, so let's shorten that up just for now, uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to adjust the springs, obviously this is made for off-road, um, so we want to make them quite stiff, I like my cars quite stiff, you can make it a little bit softer if you want to, um, but I like my cars quite stiff on this game, so that'll be that. Uh, ride high all the way to the bottom. When we come out of this tune-in menu, you'll see the car drop to the floor. Uh, keep a keen eye if you do want to see it. Uh, but when we press B, uh, you should be able to see it drop to the floor. It's pretty, pretty nice, you know, pretty nice. Um, so you're on off-road suspension, but really you're slammed to the absolute floor. Um, so there we go. Aero. Uh, we won't be changing that. Braking. Nope. Differential. 100%, 100% and 100%. Okay. There we go. So that is fully done. Um, you'll see it drop to the floor right now. There we go. Drop to the floor. I uh, don't know how it actually looks. I can't change my camera because, you know, my camera's being a derp. Uh, but there's... <laughs> I don't even... Why is my camera being a derp? I don't know. I'm just talking to myself here. Someone help me. Someone talk to me. Someone help me right now, please. I need dish. Got dish? This car has actually got a little bit of dish. Dish. Dish army. Dish army. Anyway, uh, <laughs> we're going to head over to the airfield. Uh, no traffic there. We can just get nice uh, long drifts uh, going. Okay, so yeah, it looks pretty slant to be fair. For a 4x4, it looks pretty low. Um, so that's pretty sick. Um, so let's get this slide in. Gearing seems pretty short. Maybe I adjusted it a bit too much. Okay, it's sideways. Sounds the absolute tit. Gearing's got to go a lot longer. Gearing has got to go so much longer. But then it feels like it's gripping up a bit, so tyre pressures, camber, blah. But obviously, we've got sport tyres with very wide tyres as well, so I think this is going to need a bit of camber on it to get this car to work. Um, so let's, let's jump into the tune in set up again, you know, as we do. Ah, okay. Tire pressures. Front felt a little bit strong in the wheel, so I'll just up that to 32. In the rear, we're going to take this up a little bit higher, because obviously we need these tires to spin up a little bit easier. Gearing felt a little bit too short, so let's just lengthen that a tiny bit. 4.22. Just leave it there, see what happens. Let's up negative camber in the front. And in the rear, we're going to go to about minus 2.2 for now. Um, car so we can go to six as usual. Anti roll bar seem fine. Springs seem fine. Damping is fine. Differential is fine. So all good in the hood right now. So let's up the rear tiny bit, and let's apply that. Hopefully, um, it should feel a little bit better now. Hopefully, it could spin up a little bit easier. But obviously, we've lengthened the gear in a tiny bit as well, so it might be a little bit harder to spin up. Maybe we're gonna have to see. Oh god, go wide. I've gone very wide. Oh, wow. Didn't expect it to go that wide when I was bouncing off the limiter, like, bro. Okay, that is bogging down like an absolute tank. Obviously, we've got a lot of weight here. we got a lot of grip as well. we got a lot to deal with right now. This car is not feeling good. Obviously, once you get it sideways, it does feel pretty good, you know? But look at this. It's just not... It's not theirs. Just it's just not <laughs> like to be fair. We're tuning an off-road car right now. So anyway, <laughs> let's tune this. Let's generally tune this. All right, let's up the tire pressure some more. Then let's take the rear right up. Why not? See what happens up to there. Let's take it to up to forty. 
uh, PSI and the rear. Gearing yeah, felt all right. It needs to go a little bit longer, to be fair. Um, obviously, we are bogging up. Uh, bogging down, sorry. <laughs> bogging up. <laughs> Bruh, I generally can't speak today. Like I'm just talking so much shit. Anyway, we're going to up the camber a lot. Uh, because this car is very heavy. We want these tyres to spin up. Uh, so let's up the camera in the front as well to match a little bit. Keep the balance there. Um, so let's try that. See if that makes an effect. See if it is um, not bogging down as easier now. Okay, there we go. Gearing feels a lot better. It's sideways. This is This is a good start. We've stayed sideways. We are still sideways. It hasn't bogged down yet. It still hasn't bogged down. Okay, it bogged... It bogged down. <laughs> Feels alright, though. Feels alright. Like, for the amount of grip this car actually has... It actually feels alright, you know? Um... <laughs> So let's make, keep making slight adjustments to the camber and likewise the tyre pressures. Um, they're probably the only things we're going to be making adjustments to. You know, just trying to make this car feel a little bit better, you know. So let's up that. Let's just keep taking these tyre pressures up. Let's go to 45 now. See if, you know, we're just testing the waters. Uh, see if it feels pretty nice. Let's up the negative camber a tiny bit as well. Uh, we want these tyres to be spinning up nice and easy. We don't want to be do do uh, dobbing. I can't speak, like, generally, someone help, I can't speak today. Okay, let's throw this in. <gasps> Absolute monster, look at this! <gasps> okay, it didn't bog down there, which is good. Didn't bog down around there in a pretty slow corner. It's bogged down there, though. It was just bogged down. Ah. Damn, son. To be fair, we might have to make the gearing um, shorter. I know it's going to be bouncing off the limiter a lot, uh, but we're going to have to get the acceleration into the wheels because the camber is... The cambria... The cambria... I can't... Ugh, someone help. Generally, I need medical help. <laughs> so let's just keep upping the tyre pressures. Let's just keep going. Oh, wow, we're going... Let's, this is probably the highest I've ever been with tyre pressures. Let's just max it out. Why not? We're already, like, halfway there. Um, so... <laughs> Alright, let's try that now. I don't really want to take the camber up anymore because, well, we got negative 4.5, which is just ridiculous, you know? I never normally go that high, but it's something we've had to do to try and get this this Jeep to work, you know? Ah, I had to slow it down then. Ah, it's bugged down, man. Maybe I've got to use my gears a little bit more, like gear 2 round here, and switch up to gear 3 here. I think that's more of the thing, like trying to get it to work just in gear 3. I think that's going to be an absolute monstrosity to work out, so. I don't think we're going to continue using just one gear. I normally just like to make my gears just gear 3 and gear 4 for the very long corners, but I don't think that's going to happen. We're going to be using gear 2 as well. Uh, so if we start using gear 2, um, let's see how it feels. So I thought I'd lost the car then, like, we threw that in with a lot of angle. So gear 2, to help us pull us out of there, take us round the airplane, and then let's switch up on the exit out of there. Yeah, that works. Obviously it's not going to be the best drift car, we're driving a 4x4 for God's sake. Um, but, <laughs> to be fair, like, once it is drifting, it is a very, very stable machine. As you probably expect with all this weight, all this grip, it's got very, very wide tyres, um, so you kind of go to expect it. Uh, maybe stock tyres would have been a better option, but try to get used to the sport tyres on this game, because I've been running stocks a lot, and going into like online games, trying to tandem with people, they're running sport tyres. Um, so trying to run stock and keep up is a bit of a bit of an issue, you know. Um, so we've made the adjustment to take it to sport tyres. Uh, so I'm going to be using sport tyres on like every car now, uh, just to try and get used to them a little bit. Um, so yeah, this car isn't too bad now. Uh, once we've got this sideways and, and going um, and getting used to it, you've got to get used to the weight, you've got to get used to the, the fact that the tyres are so wide. Look at them. 
I generally just look at them. Look at her. Anyway. <laughs> No, I've hit that wall. Oh my god, that was close. That was beast though. Here we go. Gear 2 around this bit because it really needs it. So if you do have any short corners uh, coming up when you're in this car, um, don't hesitate to use gear 3, you know. Uh, gear 2, sorry. Uh, because it is needed. It generally is needed. But gear 3, it is pretty, sh pretty, pretty, um, pretty good at these tight corners, but... For those very, very tight corners where you need the power to come out, um, gear 2 is always there for you, you know? It's always there. <laughs> so let's try to give this one more run. Um, I don't think we're going to change up anymore because, to be honest, we can't adjust it anymore. Um, anything that would be adjusted would be upgrades. Um, maybe I'd go stock tyres, but I don't really want to change that, you know? Okay, so it didn't bog down that time, so gear 2 just around the airplane here because we're going to need it. And then there's up it to give. Oh no! I up the gear a bit too early. I didn't wait. Oh my god, what was that? Computer nearly exploded, mate. It's like. Pfft. What the fuck even happened? Are you alright? Computer, are you alright? Generally, are you okay? <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> I think that's going to be about it for this episode. Uh, we landed on an absolute monstrosity of a car. I don't like it. Um, but we've managed to tune it to drift, uh, which is what we aim to do. Uh, but unfortunately, um, not my favourite build. Uh, but I will upload the setup onto the storefront as always for you guys. Um, so if you don't want to copy it down and make it kind of like an open unlock tune for yourselves, um, you can just download it off the storefront, chuck it on the car and you have all the upgrades ready for you. So that is being uploaded right now. All you have to do is go onto the storefront and search for Gamertag, which is Kevin Toll, the same as my YouTube name. Uh, pretty simple. I'm trying to keep it simple for you guys, you know. Pretty simple, so you just jump onto the storefront and you've got the tune. Simple. Simples. Yeah, everyone knows about that meerkat life. <laughs> so, while this is saving, what I'm going to say is... Oh, okay. Maybe I won't. <laughs> I generally, I have nothing to say then. I was just about to blag it, just to waste time. Um, so <laughs> let's do Drift, best for handling. And let's share that up onto the storefront for you guys. Um, and yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Pretty interesting car. Don't like it, uh, but you guys might like it. So try it out. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.